All right. Yeah, more Pearl Jam. Um, this is... I think this is the last one that Elizabeth sent me. But yeah, this is of Elizabeth Welsh. She paid bells every now and then, but... And she's a patron as well, I think. But anyway, um, Pearl Jam, Blood. These type of lives are the best ones to do as well because they just don't f flag up to be blocked. It's really like the kind of major released live DVDs or whatever that that are a bit of a pain to get past YouTube. But then anything that gets blocked now, I'm going to put up on Rumble anyway, so it really don't matter, but... Um, yeah, Pearl Jam, Blood, let's go. Right, this is hard, hard as F. I'm only saying F. Don't think that's going to be a consistent thing. That's only until the 19th where the, my actual strike, because if I get another strike in that time, uh, I, I can't upload for two weeks and that would kill me. So I'm saying F until I think January the 25th when my strike comes up. Then I'll be back to swearing. But um, yeah, it's hard as F. <laughs> but the bass line is kind of funky too. That's a funky little bass line. And Eddie Vedder's voice as well. He is a man of a million voices, I think. Because, yeah, that doesn't sound like a regular Eddie. But the last one didn't either, to be fair. Very punky.
Yeah, that was fire. Eddie sounded a little lemmy from Motorhead, but very Jim Morrison. That was a very Jim Morrison performance. I've said it before, um, but it's the, the Doors Hollywood. That's the one that reminded me of the big ending where it's just manic and Eddie Vedder screaming and do you know what I mean? This madness. If you Honestly, Get the Doors Hollywood Bowl is one of the best live performances you'll ever see. And it's the only whole performance of the Doors that's, that's survived. Um, but it's at the Hollywood Bowl. But they do Celebration of the Lizard King. And there's a, it's a weird song. It goes here, there and everywhere. And it's, it's madness. And you've got Jim doing his trippy poetry. Um, and it's the... Uh, in the street roaming... Dogs, rabid, foaming, and it's like Jim Morrison's all like, and then it just goes mad, and it's like that type of build up where it's just like crazy and everything's going and it's mental, and then all of a sudden the drummer hits the snare, and then it goes, and then light my fire starts. But the whole it's 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 an amazing thing to see. But that's what that kind of gave me vibes of, that kind of chaotic Doors-like performance like that. It, like, it was like Eddie Vedder was channeling Jim Morrison a, a bit in that. But then Punky and Lemmy, like they're definitely a Lemmy from Motorhead with how Eddie Vedder, which is weird, as I said it before, like he has, he can have such a gentle voice, but then also that comes out of him. It's, it's, it's yeah, it's crazy, crazy. But yeah, that was fire. That was fire. That was enjoyable. In fact, all of these, um, the Pearl Jams I've done, like that have kind of been like this type of recording. They've all been fire. All been fire. But yeah, anyway. Um, that's the reaction. Sweet. <laughs> 